Mike, thank you. The mayor's pick to become Baltimore's next top cop could be confirmed as early as next week. A hearing on Michael Harrison is just getting underway at City Hall. That's where WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler explains the council has a chance to further vet who could be the city's next commissioner. Paul. Good evening, Rick. Yeah, the acting police commissioner and council are hearing from members of the public inside City Hall right now. Members of the council's executive appointment committee will then hear uh, from the public and take questions themselves. City officials hope Harrison continues reform while bringing a level of stability too. The questions seem obvious to those at Penn and North Wednesday. What are you going to do as a commissioner to fix the corruption in your police department? What can he do differently than the previous commissioners that was in office prior? Questions for the city's next commissioner from a community starving for answers. Is he, is he really going to be committed to our city and, and be dedicated to stop this violence because if he not, the violence is going to keep going. Acting Police Commissioner Michael Harrison is facing questions this week by City Council as part of his confirmation process. The former New Orleans Police Superintendent was tapped by Mayor Catherine Pugh to lead the Baltimore Police Department. She and the City Council were criticized in their handling of background checks for the last commissioner when it surfaced Daryl D'Souza repeatedly failed to file tax returns. In December, D'Souza pleaded guilty in federal court. We have absolutely got to get this hire right. Harrison has been acting commissioner for almost a month, meeting with the community at forums and appearing after high profile arrest. Still, for some in West Baltimore, time will be the ultimate answer on questions Harrison receives this week. I have to believe that things will be better. Are you willing to sacrifice yourself for this committee before you even take the job as police commissioner, especially of a city that's not yours? Until that happens, nothing's going to change. Baltimore is even kill or be killed. And if you not, if you don't have someone that's watching over, like a commissioner that's really dedicated to doing this work, he's not going to stop nothing. He's not. Back live now here outside City Hall. We have two crews inside the hearing right now. After I toss it back to you here in a minute, I'll be joining them. Now, coming up at 6, uh, I'll tell you what questions Harrison is facing and how council is taking those questions as well. For now, reporting live outside City Hall, Paul Gessler, WJC.